If you live abroad, chances are at some point you're going to miss something from home. Thankfully, expat shops are a thing, and at our local expat shop, they stock tons of popular items from both the US and the UK, along with some insane, over-the-top snacks that we've never seen before, but are definitely, embarrassingly, American. Today, we have 100 euros to spend on some of our favorite snacks from the expat shop, and we'll be trying some of the crazier snacks as picked by y'all. So maybe you'll find a reason to pop into one of these shops sometime. Markin and welcome back. Right now we're in Rotterdam and we're going to our local expat shop where we've got a hundred euros to spend on some of our favorite things. Plus we're getting three extra weird things as voted on by our Instagram followers. I'm excited. Let's go. Oh well this one's five for ten so we just get five. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually a really good deal on this. It's... Guess I gotta move some cinnamon toast crunch. The thoughts are expired. they don't have the other kind. All right, I think we got everything, so we'll see you at home. All right, we're back. <laughs> and we have all of our stuff. You ready? It's a lot of stuff. You hungry? Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, good. This is breakfast for us. All right, first up, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is my favorite cereal from the United States. And by favorite cereal, I mean like I would eat it occasionally as a dessert. It's definitely not something I would normally eat for breakfast. <laughs> it's not like. <laughs> it's my good. Like... Oh my God. I miss this so much. Mm. It's very like whole grainy feeling and kind of tasting too. And the texture on the cereal, like the ridges, mm -hmm. is really nice. And it's got a very strong cinnamon flavor like super strong cinnamon flavor i know this is only the first thing but i'm gonna finish the bowl you made for me mm -hmm. all right next up air airheads these are actually one also one of my favorite candies and you know interestingly enough this is made by a dutch company the company perfetti van mela van Me mela it literally just looks like a big stick of gum. It comes in a bunch of different flavors like orange, cherry, watermelon, and it all tastes like a very sweet version of those things. This is my favorite flavor, though. It's white mystery. So when they clear out the machine and switch it to a new flavor, they make a line of mystery flavors. So it's like the leftovers plus the start of the new batch. And, and that's always it's always very tasty, I think. It's like gritty. Yeah, taffy. I mean, it's, it's like it is taffy. It's very sugary. Yeah, and it's very chewy. It's so good. I'll be honest. This is not my favorite flavor of Airheads. No, but I like it. Mm. I remember growing up when I was a kid, I'd go to the pool and they had Airheads for 15 cents. And I would just fill up on Airheads while I was swimming at the pool. Mm -hmm. And I think the flavor in this one is a strong watermelon. Still working on it? Okay. Walker's Pickled Onion. Now, these actually aren't from the United States. These are from the UK. We were going to get Funyuns. They didn't have them in the shop. So we settled with these instead. And we tried these for the first time last year. And they are so good. It's a very unique chip flavor that I don't think I know I've never tasted in anything else. Yeah, exactly. It's like a punch you in the face salt and vinegar, but with like an onion flavor. Yeah. Plus potato. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's my click. Yeah. It's borderline foul. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I love it. It's like the next step in this kind of tart flavor would be taking a shot of apple cider vinegar. Yes. If you like salt and vinegar chips and you like the taste of raw onion, you 100% mm -hmm. need to try these mm -hmm. chips because it nails the onion flavor and it's got the same sort of tartness that a salt and vinegar chip has. But man, this is like um probably is one of the most complex chips I've ever eaten for my palate. Next up, Cheez-Its. I love Cheez-Its. Now, now the original is the only one we could find. They have lots of different flavors, which are a little higher on my list of favorites, but this will do for today. It definitely smells like if you smeared cheese on cardboard. It's not like. It's not like. What do you like about them? Well, they're very snackable. I don't know. There's something about them where it's kind of like the feeling of like eating something but nothing all at the same time. They're just really salty. 
And you know, have you ever um, like made a pizza and some of the cheese gets on the pan and burns a little bit? That is the cheese flavor. A half cup gives you 10% of your daily value of sodium. My heart is beating real fast right now. All right, next up, Betty Crocker Rainbow Chip Party Cake Mix. This is another one of my favorites. Yeah, in the United States, this is called Fun Fetty Cake. This is a British cake mix. Yeah, so, so it's not exactly the same thing, but it was the closest we could get to it. Yeah. We also topped it with this Betty Crocker Vanilla Buttercream Style Icing. Yeah, you got to get that that jarred frosting. Buttercream style frosting. Yes, yeah, style. So this is my favorite because it reminds me a lot of my childhood. We didn't have that much money, so my mom would home like make our cakes from scratch, which was really just using the box. Mm. Mm, this frosting is so good. The frosting is very good. Flavor of Funfetti. What is that like? It's like... Sprinkles. It's literally just vanilla cake with sprinkles. Yeah, inside. it's like a like a candy cake with milk. No, no. Oh, oh, it's too much. Mm -mm. Who's to say what's too much? All right, next up, I'm very excited about this one: Kraft macaroni and cheese, or in the United States, Blue Box macaroni and cheese. The classic. Or in Canada, Kraft dinner, the quintessential. My parents are both working parents and they're getting home late from work dinner. And as a college student, it's also the I don't have any money. So this is a, a meal that I can afford meal. I don't know. It's just like a comfort comfort food. You yeah. Know? If you want to like sit on the couch and like watch a movie and chill in your pajamas, you just eat some. Yeah. And how food. else are you going to get 30 percent of your daily allotment of sodium? Yeah. It's mock like. Oh, baby. Mm. <laughs> Why is it so good? It's, it doesn't taste like cheese. It stimulates the same thing in my brain as the Cheez-Its, where they don't taste like cheese. Memories of cheese. Yeah, they don't taste like cheese, but it is a flavor that is just very familiar. All right, and let's wash it down with this can of Barks root beer. Now, I think root beer might be one of the more controversial things in the expat shop. We don't drink a lot of soda, but Barks has this like strong effervescence. That like just punches you in the face when you drink it. It's, it's so the good. Crispiness of the birch, and then it's also like a creaminess. It feels like it's a little bit of like a there's like ice cream mixed in a little bit, but there's not. Yeah. Ooh, the smell. Mmm, it does smell really good. Root beer, honestly, is probably like the root beer scent is pretty great. It is. What does this taste like? I'm trying to describe it without saying like it tastes like. Birch beer. It does taste like I do get the vanilla ice cream flavor, which is why root beer float, I think, is so good. Sweet with hints of salt and a bitter undertone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mint is a noticeable flavor, no. but it's more of a menthol type. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Um, vanilla, licorice, anise. Yeah. Cherry bark, nutmeg, cinnamon, acacia, and sweet birch. This actually has acacia as an ingredient. I think everyone should try root beer once, but I also mm -hmm. think that everyone should try licorice once. Yeah, just try everything that you like... You might not like it, but it's a fun flavor. Yeah, that like someone feels really strongly about, and you might like it, but if you don't, you get to say you tried it. Yeah. Now that we've eaten all of our favorites, it's time to get into the things that we put out for a vote to y'all on our Instagram. And by the way, if you don't follow us on Instagram, it's at Buncharted, and we'll put that link right probably over here, right here. What was that? I was pointing what are you pointing at? Me, but you can't see me. Yeah, you can't see it. It also looked like you were pointing at your chest. So there are six things that we put out to a vote to y'all on our Instagram. And some of the things we've had before, some of the things we hadn't, but we want to just mix it up a little bit and... Try some of the weird shit that you can find at the expat store, too. Yeah, let's be clear. These things that we put up for a vote are not our favorite things, and they're, like, a little unhinged. One they're... is. A, one is. One, oh, is not one. intentionally, but y'all did vote for one of our favorite things. So yeah. thank you. Let's start with one that we haven't had before. It's the Warheads. And they actually didn't have Warheads. So Warheads is typically a very, 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 very sour hard candy, fruit-flavored hard candy. And it's been around since Michelle and I were kids. I remember when I was like a little kid on the playground, people would bring warheads just to like mess with you. Like it would be like a fun thing that would be like challenging. And there would be warhead wrappers that were left behind on the playground. Yeah, we actually weren't allowed to have warheads at some point in school. They're that hard candy and they've got the powder on the outside. The but citric remember, acid, right? They had the like they were filled with citric acid. Oh, that's so right. right before it was completely dissolved, it would just like explode with citric acid in your mouth. Yeah. 
So these aren't exactly that. This is the closest that they had in stock mm -hmm. in the store. They're called Warheads Cubes. So I think the difference is that these are just chewy. Stop focusing on... There we go. Ooh. Do you think there's something in the middle? I don't know. Let's find out. Those like sour strips that we get from Katja are more sour than these. Warheads. This nope. is a big disappointment. Yeah, don't buy these. Let's bring it back on positive note. Flaming Hot Cheetos. These are so, 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 so good. In the Netherlands, we have Flaming Hot Doritos. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. Flamin' Hot Doritos. But they Doritos, are really spicy. They are very spicy, but Flamin' Hot Doritos in the Netherlands still have a very strong cheese flavor, like mm -hmm. a nacho cheese oh, flavor. Yeah, yeah. Whereas these are like, they're like vinegary and like Tabasco y sour. and sour. Yeah, like I'm sure there's cheese. They're more like a hot, like like what you would think of as like a hot sauce on Cheetos. They're not just like cheese Cheetos that are spicy. They've got their own powder on them. How do I got to figure out a better way to do this? Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this. Mm, look at all that red. Do they even have crunchy Cheetos here? It's so good. It's the best chip that's on the market. Ooh, it really gets you right here. Yes. Like you salivate so much when you're eating these. The spice is like a sort of a prickly spice on the middle of your tongue. And they're so like, they are so sour. Yeah, these are more sour than the Warhead gummies. Now the next one I'm not excited about, but to be fair, I wasn't excited about either of the options in this category that people mm. are voting on. This is the Candy Pop Sour Patch Kids Popcorn. And this might end up being more sour than the, the Warheads, we'll mm -hmm. see. I would never buy this, no. and I don't know who would. Who is like, you know what? I love popcorn, but I wish it tasted like Sour Patch Kids. Immediately, it smells like popcorn and Sour Patch Kids, and I don't want to eat it. Ew. Oh, it kind of... I don't like that. It kind of smells like... It smells like a public restroom with a air freshener in it. Eat this. I don't, don't want to eat, eat this. I don't want to eat this. You got to get one with some of the stuff. I did. Okay. It's not like... Oh, oh my god. Ew. Mm. Why are these two flavors together? It literally tastes like someone made popcorn and put Sour Patch Kids in it. I mean, I like salty sweet and there's popcorn for that, but this is not that. This is like it's, it's not sour. It's not it's 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 just sh candy sugar mixed it's like with popcorn. Drinking fruit punch and eating a bunch of popcorn at yep. the same time. All right, and last but not least, we actually meant to do this one first, but we also bought one Twinkie. One singular Twinkie. When's the last time you ate a Twinkie? Um. Look what I got here, Bob. A Twinkie wiener sandwich. I don't know. It hasn't been that long. Hmm. So if you're not familiar with the Twinkie, it's like a sponge cake that's is really wet. A highly manufactured sponge cake. And it's injected with some like fluffy cream filling. It's not good. And it smells like. It's not bad. It's a vanilla sponge cake with a cream filling. It's mm -hmm. not like. It tastes like it's so bad for you. Oh my God. Well, what was your favorite thing that we tried today? Mm, my favorite thing was definitely the cinnamon toast crunch. Same. I wasn't really looking forward to it that much because I like it, but I don't love it. But man, it really hit the spot. I got to give prop, props to the Cheetos Flamin' Hot. I mean, this is something that I crave regularly mm -hmm. and we occasionally will go get them. Or when we have family come to town, this is like what we ask them to bring us. We haven't had Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the entire time we've lived here. Mm -hmm. So I really missed it. Yeah. And I was reminded of that when we tried it today. Was yeah. it the least best? I mean, the least best for me was definitely the Sour Patch Popcorn. Oh yeah, I mean. That was, there's that no was question. really terrible. I also want to comment. We said that we were going to spend 100 euros today mm -hmm. at the expat shop. We only spent 50. It was so much that less expensive. That whole bag that we filled up. Plus, we got two bags of this so we can hold one for later. And we got something else. And to I, I got like some Reese's cups and you got something else too. We just got a few extra It was only things. like 50 euros. Yeah. I don't know if they like discounted a bunch of stuff or our memory of the expat shop is different, but... Man, I feel like we got a really good value for the amount of money that we spent on imported goods today. Yeah. Well, which of the snacks that we had today would you want to try? Or which ones would you absolutely never <laughs> try under any circumstances? Let us know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Doing. Doing.